Hey, welcome back, multifamily investors. I'm Brandon, and here I'm going to check today's update on new multifamily listings in Western Washington. We've got two duplexes in King. We have one duplex in Snohomish County. We have two new fourplexes in Pierce. I know those. I, I also get these in my email, so I, I see them sometimes ahead of time in the afternoon, the day before. One five plus unit, and nothing down in Thurston. Um, these these ones in Pierce, I, I'm anxious to review and show you because they're good opportunity. Old mom and pop landlords, I believe uh, it's a portfolio deal. Anyway, let's hop into this. Two duplexes in King, both in Seattle. Uh, let's see. And a shout out to my client, Scott, who is definitely interested in Seattle. And um, I don't want to just brush these over too lightly. I will give him stronger consideration, especially if they're in his price point. Um, these are a little above his budget, but this is Capitol Hill, the chop zone. If you remember any of that crap that was going on, uh, it's a 120 year old property, one bed, one bath unit and a three, one 1440 square feet. Look at the cap rate. It's, it's, it's advertising right now as, and you know that there are missing expenses. So it's actually probably less than that. Um, uh, <clears throat> but you know, if you're looking to buy a single family and you want to live in that area close to downtown, this could still work as a, a decent house hack opportunity for the right buyer. Uh, and then we've got another one here in Queen Anne, Magnolia, which is a better part of Seattle, a real old looking cool uh, property there. Jeez, look at that. 1891. I don't see that many under uh, pre 1900. I mean, Seattle's an old city, but we don't see a ton in the late 1890s like that come up very often, at least. Another one bed, one bath, and 940s and a huge, that's pretty big, uh, three bed, two and a quarter bath. Uh, no financial information, probably it was owner occupied, that would be my guess. It's actually more like a single family. It says divide for a large dadu or single, two additional single family houses, use mother-in-law for income to qualify. Uh, 1.8, oh, there you have it. It's kind of, let's just take a look at it. It's kind of a cool looking property, I must say. Look at all that character. Um, what you don't know, again, what I talk about on these older properties, we don't know, you know, if the systems, the plumbing, the electrical, the heating, all that kind of stuff has ever been updated recently or at all. Um, one would like to believe that this property at some point was probably updated being, you know, 130 years old. Um, but you got the old radiant or radiator heaters and stuff. Um, yeah, a lot of cool character. Not the right property for me or my clients. So, okay. Uh, we've got a Snohomish duplex in Monroe. Monroe is just north of the Bellevue area a bit. Oh, I saw this one. It had a price reduction, I think, actually. It's kind of a cool property, though. Um, it's um, four and three quarters acres. So, it's a big property. Uh, if you want to run your little mini, one of the hobby farms or create some income with the renting out the dadus that are available. Um, if you're into that kind of stuff, the outdoor gardening, small livestock thing <clears throat> looks really nice. Uh, but it's under a million. And again, you got one unit. It's a one bed, one bath, 576 and a large three bed, two and a half bath, almost 2000 square foot property. Um, probably mostly owner occupied, but there's not a lot of financials in here, but also that does kind of, it can imply a, just a lazy agent that doesn't gather that info when entered in the listing. Um, perfect for multi-general offset mortgage rental main home is three bed plus an office. Pretty cool. Cool property. Um, not the ideal though, investment property, right? So you'll see a lot of these come up and they, they make great house hacking opportunities. It doesn't mean that they'll, they are ideal for non-owner occupied investors like myself or some, a lot of my clients. Okay. These are the two down in Oh yeah. These are neighboring properties. These are going to, you'll see the fourplexes and they all, let me show you the map. They are all right next to each other. So you have one, two, three. All three of these fourplexes are for sale. Uh, so you could have 12 units for about oh, 2.4 million, uh, which is about 200,000 a unit, which isn't terrible. Um, 
these are going to be really underperforming these rents the, the notes i saw the private notes for us brokers and internal notes that said you know mom and pop in the same family for 60 years um market rents really under there's a laundry room that services all three buildings um pretty dated but clean this is kind of what you see for a and there you go there's the laundry room that serves so they have two washers two dryers pretty good for you know the 12 servicing the 12 units might even be some storage in here that would be even more ideal if you could create some storage lockers for these these units um i don't like that they're all all three buildings are red it would be nice to mix it up and right to differentiate the three um but, <clears throat> but that's also quite a yard you need to maintain see that right there um that that comes with this duplex i mean sorry fourplex and uh you know it's going to take somebody maybe uh, maybe you can give them a rent discount to a tenant but that's never really a good situation because they, they take advantage of that usually okay and then the the other one same property pretty much same pictures but there's actually three of these available i don't know why the other one's not coming up but they're selling all three it says your own one or all three of these fourplexes conveniently located near Bethel High School. Um, 830 for a fourplex in Pierce County is not a bad deal. I mean, again, it was a long time we didn't see anything under 900. And as these are creeping closer back down to eight, low eights, uh, if we can even get into the high sevens, that would be fantastic. Okay, let's move on. Uh, and then we've got one five plus unit. Probably, oh, there is a qua area if you don't know that it's a it's uh east of bellevue a bit you know that we call it the east side right uh east side is a quasi really desirable area uh super kind of hip front street this is on um new, near is highlands which has a lot of development going on and um super easy commute if you're going into bellevue for work or if you want to go to the mountains a little bit farther east just from here uh it's a cool location it's a 10 unit situated kind of oddly on this triangle type of parcel i don't really like that but looks like you have decent parking still <clears throat> let's see what the unit mix is here it's a 10 unit uh, all but two are one beds ah oh, geez look at this cap 2.73 is what it's showing that's just that's just tough but these rents i'm sure are all low for that area is um it's on septic that's another thing that's not super ideal especially for these larger properties in my opinion it's really it can be tough to monitor and understand what what the tenants are putting down you can hand out flyers and information and about restrictions but it's unlikely that they all always follow them anyway that's um only only two hundred fifty thousand a unit that's not really that bad i mean it's a 1962 property probably hasn't had anything updated in terms of plumbing or electrical too but um for the right buyer that's a that's a really great location and that's it two three four, five, six new properties in the last 24 hours. If you'd like uh, me to do a deep dive on any of these properties that anything sparks your interest, please feel free to reach out. You can comment in the sections or you can email me and, and um, happy to connect. And thank you for watching.